Nothing can compare to your word. Your word is life. Out of your word, all that exists came to be. Therefore, we do not take your word for granted. As you bless us with your word this morning, we ask in the name of Jesus that the spirit of your word will gain expression, that the light of your word will gain expression. Bless us, Lord. Thank you for wisdom. Thank you for power. Thank you for your grace. In Jesus' mighty name, I receive clarity of thought and speech. I receive all trance from you, Holy Spirit. You are the preacher. I'm only a vessel in your hands. Use me to be a blessing to everyone under the sound of my voice, dear Lord. Do so and take all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen, and amen. This morning, I've been sent to hand keys into your hands. I've been sent to hand over keys, keys, keys into your hands. And the keys are very simple keys that will guarantee a fruitful 2024. In fact, it is not custom made for only 2024. It's, it's for life. And so I would want to go straight to the point. You know, things don't just happen. Things happen because we apply the rules of the game that produce the effects. <laughs> there is a way to get at everything. There's a way. There's a way... This is Multimedia Company Limited. There is Joy FM in this building. There is Adum FM in this building. There's Hits FM. There is Asempa FM. There is Multi TV in this building. There's My Joy Online in this building. There are other offices in this building. You know, the newsroom in this building. But then, I want to enter Joy FM studio. I want to enter Joy FM studio. Once I get to the entrance, the gate, and I pass the security post, there is a way, there are paths that I must use if only it's, it's Joy FM studio I want to enter. I don't just use any anything, any path that appears to me, no. There's a path. There's, there's a staircase I must climb. There are places I must pass in order to enter Joy FM Studio. Either than that, I can land anywhere. And as genuine as my desire to enter Joy FM Studio is, I may not be able to enter it. Why? Is it God? No, it's not God who did it. It is because I did not use the approved route that will lead me into the studio of Joy FM. That is life. There is a way to have a fruitful year. There is a way to have a successful year. There is a way to end up having a year that's glorious. You cannot just sit, look aloof, and expect, as genuine as your expectation is, as genuine as your desire is, there are certain keys that you must have that will help you to have a successful year. And that is what I've been sent this morning to hand over into somebody's hands. Hallelujah. 
So let me go ahead with the keys. Number one key that I want to share with you. Number one key that I want to share with you. And this is it. See, you cannot know how to do everything. But this year, endeavor to be the best at the little you know how to do. If only you want to succeed. Don't worry your head about doing everything. You can't do everything. But the little you know how to do or the little you can do, eh? endeavor to do it to the best of your ability. And I can guarantee you, you will have a satisfied life. Don't, 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 don't load yourself with too much. Mm-hmm. But then the little that you can do, do it to your best of ability. Do it to the best of your ability such that you'll be noted for that thing. That's how to excel. That's how to excel. That's how to excel. That's key number one. Number two, I'm in the main chakra. I'm just talking and then I'm gone. Take it and then apply it and see. Number two, this year, be intentional. In all that you do, be intentional. Be intentional. Be very, very deliberate in your dealings. And there's a reason why I'm saying that. See, your lifting in life will not happen by chance. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Your lifting in life, eh, it don't happen by chance. There are things that happen to us by chance. Your lifting is not one of those things. Your promotion, your advancement is not one of those things. Your lifting in life will not happen. It won't happen by chance. You must be deliberate. Spiritually, financially, socially, academically, in terms of career, business-wise, marriage, relationships, health, whatever. Be intentional. Be intentional. Be very intentional in your approach to life this year. Be intentional. Before you go to bed, sit down. After you have prayed and thanked God for the day, and committed your life into the hands of the Lord that he will keep you and watch you by night. Mm? Or probably before that. Whichever. Decide that, Ochina, God willing, tomorrow. I will do this. I will do that. I will go here. I will go there. And there must be clear reasons why you would want to do what you are deciding you will do and go where you are deciding you will want to go. Lord, give me grace. In the book of Proverbs, he said, Pre present to me your plans. And I'll bless it. Be intentional. Life will not happen by chance. Be intentional.
and see the quality of life that you will have at the end of the year. Do that. Apply these principles. And in the middle of the year, do an assessment. Sincerely. Compare the quality of life you had from the beginning of the year to the quality of life you, you had in the middle of the year. And then continue. And then at the end of the year, do another assessment. Compare the quality of your life from the beginning, the quality of your life mid-year, and then the quality of your life by the end of the year. Be intentional. I said, spiritually, be intentional. Be intentional about your prayer life. Be intentional about your word life. Be intentional. Said that and decide that. I am not going to miss my prayer times. I have set this time and that time for prayer. I won't miss it. Aside corporate prayer, I'm joining AOV. I'm joining Joy Time in His Presence. I'm joining Prayer Line. I'm joining, I mean, aside that, your own, the personal time for prayer. Be intentional about it. Be intentional. Every day, I will meditate on one verse. That's mm, like the first, I said, don't load yourself with too much. Don't worry your head about chapters if you don't have the capacity to contain that. Don't worry your head about chapters. Don't worry your head about chapters or anything. No. Say one verse. I will. Now put it. It is, it is so easy. Hey, your phone, your tablet, your iPad, whatever it is, you can have apps on it that will make verses pop up every day. Tell yourself, I am going to take it seriously and I will meditate on it. I will do 10 minutes of meditation on, the, on a verse in the morning. Another 10 minutes of meditation on that same verse in the noon and another 10 minutes of meditation on that same verse at night and until the verse through the day becomes flesh the bible says in john 1 that and and the word became flesh until it becomes my reality i would give it intense concentration that is what we call meditation Shedda, shedda, na ye, shedda, na ye. Be intentional. Your finances. Be intentional about ordering your finances. Be intentional. Your social life. Be intentional. That I don't benefit from this relationship. I am going to draw lines. As for this relationship, it is very strategic. This person is, is a lot of profit to me. So I am going to strengthen the bond I have with this person. Be intentional. Be intentional. Be very intentional. Let your approach to everything be intentional this year. And then you watch the quality of life you have. Number three key. Number three. This year, be focused. <laughs> oh. Today, I didn't come to preach to you. I want us to talk as family. Be focused. Be focused. When you set your mind on something, don't be distracted. Unless it is not within the will of God. But if you are convinced that this one is the will of God and this is the, the set time for it, set your mind to it and let nothing shift your attention. Be very focused this year. Be very focused. And if you really want to be focused, then let me give you a, a clue. Take one day at a time. Take one day at a time. If you want to be very focused, take one day at a time. 
men dream eh na e dream eh and na dream eh you are thinking this you are thinking that you are thinking about it and you are thinking one person you are worried about your marriage your relationship and that the same person you are worried about your finances the same person you are worried about schooling the same person you are worried about career the same person you are worried about uh, uh, somebody who is gossiping about you the same person you are worried about somebody you greeted in the morning who didn't answer you well the, the same person you are worried about a friend who doesn't smile again and from yeah, abba what brababa ya woman you see your I, I wish i can say me when if brofoneka your life will be woman if you want to be focused then take one day at a time the things that are unnecessary throw them away and fix your mind on one thing set your mind on one goal be focused on it and see if you will not achieve results be focused be focused that's key number three be so focused that <laughs> nothing will shift your attention i've shared on this platform before when we were in school during prep time you know during prep time um uh, you, there are people who talk, they like talking plenty, they talk, talk, talk at ease, you know, and, 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 and whenever they're talking, it disturbs, you can't really learn, and so when they're talking and you tell them, oh, Charlie, you're making noise, oh, you're talking too much, you want to learn, they will respond and tell you a concentrated mind can never be disturbed, they used to say, that's what my talkative mates used to say, a concentrated mind can never be disturbed. A concern. When I grew up, I realized there's truth in what they are saying. It's true. When your mind is concentrated, eh, you no know, amount of distraction will take your mind off. <laughs> I am miserable. Eh? So, be focused. Be focused. Be focused. Uh -huh. Be focused. That's key number three. Key number four, after talking about focus i would want to talk about this key number key number four beware of holy distractions i call them holy distractions and i'll explain what they are holy distract they are distractions but they are holy distractions what do i mean by holy distractions these are not bad things necessarily they are good things but they don't afford you the time and the space to focus on on the salient aspects of your life for a period or a season. For example, invitation to uh, certain gatherings, party. It's not bad. There's nothing wrong about party. It's not a bad thing. But then, if... Every invitation you are going to grant. Oh, Charlie, some party, some friend be in birthday. Make we go eh? Then you are gone. Then, then, then this one. Then you are gone. Then that. You are gone. Every, you, you are here. You are there. You are ching, ching, big ching, the man. I can tell you. For a fact that it will be hard to really concentrate on the salient aspects of your life. This year, you must learn to say no to certain invitations, politely. Oh, I wish I could come, but then I won't be able to make it. Use that time to lock yourself and think, even if you're not going to pray or anything. You just meditate on life. Think about your life. In Timucra, how far have I come this year? Hmm? In three months uh, has come and gone. What have I been able to achieve these past three months? The things that I set my heart and my mind to do. Have I been able to achieve it? Have I been? How far have I gone? How far can I go? Use that time to think about self. Use that time for self. Self. Use that time for self. Rather than nam hatnen, nam hatnen, nam you today, you here. To, tomorrow then they call you. Then oh then you by the time you come home, you are exhausted. There is no energy in you to to benefit self. 
I call them holy distractions, good distractions. They are, they are good things, but they distract. Every program you are there. I'm not saying it's bad. But then, try and learn to say no to some invitations. And use that time for self. And you see the quality of your life. That is key number four. Let me end with the fifth one. There are so many I would love to share with you, but time isn't on my side. Let me learn with let me let me end with the, with the fifth one. This year, favor will knock on your door. When favor knocks, use wisdom to take advantage and answer. This year, favor will knock on your door. When favor knocks on your door. Use wisdom to take advantage and answer. What do I mean by that? There are certain things that will come in disguise, but they are blessings. It is my prayer that wisdom will grant you discernment so that you don't miss it and take advantage of it. You could, you could be looking for a job. You talk to someone and you say, oh, uh, <laughs> there's no space. But if you can work for free, that is a, is a door right there. But you won't know from the onset. Say yes, I'll work for free. And you start. They'll watch you. Be diligent. Do things well. Before you realize you have been permanently employed, you may even be promoted. That right there is an example of favor that came in disguise. I said this year, favor will knock on your door. You will say, I said it. Favor will knock on your door. But when favor knocks on your door, use wisdom to take advantage and answer favor. May the Lord help us. May the Lord grant us grace. May the wisdom of God inform every decision that we make and take. 